Hi, it's Therese with the Alleyway Stamps and today I've got one of the new sets called Something's Fishy and I'm going to be making some design paper and using my Copics. So to do this I've popped a couple of the stamps onto some acrylic blocks and I've got some Tuxedo Black. And when I do this sort of design I like to stamp out my larger images first. So that's going to be the shark and the stingray. I'm just going to scatter these across the piece of cardstock, which is cut to the same size as my card front, which is 15 by 10 and a half centimetres. Now that I've stamped out my larger stamps, I want to sort of fill the background in a little bit. And I've looked through my sets and found some, some of the small stamps I thought I could use. And there's a swirl there and that's from Feeling Groovy. Um, there's like a dotted stamp here. It's just from Toothorina. And Hey Cupcake, that's also got a little swirl in it as well, but it's a bit smaller than the other one, so that'll match it really well. I'm just going to fill in my gaps a bit now with this. So I'm going to colour it out with my Copics now and I want to do more of a simplified technique, almost like a child's drawing book colouring from the old, you know, like the old style of colouring books. So I'm actually going out of the lines, but like when it was printed, that was how it was meant to be. And just keeping it really simple. So as usual, I'll list all the colours at my blog and the link will be in the YouTube description below. Be embossing all my sentiments lately and I'm going to do the same again now I just onto some black cardstock with some white embossing powder I've got this really cute sentiment from the blast off set and it says oh snap and I thought that was perfect so I've got some versa marking and then I'll stamp this out and then just hit that with my heat tool
So I've just added some dry adhesive to the back of my panel and I'm just going to stick that down onto the top of our top fold card. And I've got some black mounting foam on the back of my sentiment and I'll just adhere this onto the front of my card and I'm done. I really enjoyed creating this retro style Copic colouring and it was so easy to do. I'll be back again real soon with another card. So till then, happy paper crafting. Bye.